this is Kayla Harrison and you're watching the Crystal Heart Show. Great. It's the road to the 2012 London Olympics with the opening ceremony being Friday, July 27th. As a part of the kickoff, we're here in New York City where Times Square has been transformed into a festive Olympic village, shining a spotlight on the inspiring stories of the athletes that make up Team USA. We are here in Times Square, the Road to London 100-day celebration for the U.S. Olympic Committee with Kayla Harrison, American judoka, and world champion, one of their favorites for a gold medal in London this summer. And uh, it's good to see you here in New York. It's great to be here. It's um, a lot of action-packed stuff going on today. It's an awesome opportunity for us to get the sport of judo out there and get some awareness going for the Olympics. So it's, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Tell us about what we can expect, because you won in 2010, you didn't 2011, but you got to be one of the favorites this year. What Are you going to make any adjustments since last year, or what can we expect? Yeah, um, I think going into the World Championships last year, I, I, I was defending my title, and I think I put a little bit too much pressure on myself. So going into London, I'm completely prepared mentally, and that's definitely going to be the big adjustment that I need to make. I'm going to have to be mentally prepared and mentally tough going into the Olympics, so I'm ready. What do you think of the recent changes in the rules, less of the, the groundwork that's gone on in judo? How does that affect you? Um, it's, I think that ch changing the sport so much is, I don't know if it's going to be such a good thing. Um, judo is a beautiful sport as it is, and um, changing the rules and making it so that you don't get uh, as much groundwork and changing it so that you don't grab the legs and things like that, um, it takes away from the sport, I feel. How did you get into judo? How long have you been doing it? Um, my mother took it in college, and so when I was a little girl, she wanted me to learn self-defense, and I kind of just loved the sport aspect of it from the get-go. Was that why judo as opposed to something else? Is the family connection? Yeah, I mean, I think that, I mean, I did, like, t-ball and stuff when I was little, but I loved, I mean, I did my first tournament, like, a year after I started, and I loved going to a different city and staying in a hotel and swimming in the pool and hanging out with the team. So I love doing all that. So it hooks me from the start. Have you followed some of the other judokas that have gone on into MMA? Ronda Rousey's yeah. getting a lot of attention recently. Yeah. Winning Ronda is um, actually is one of my past teammates. I trained with her and helped her get ready for Beijing. And um, it's awesome to see how well she's doing in MMA now. Do you have any plans yourself for that? Um, I won't say anything yet because I, you, you can never say never, but I don't know, um, I kind of like my face, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. We'll see. Well, she's won all of her fights in the first round by she arm has. bars. Um, none of those girls are going to touch her. I mean, when you compete at the Olympics and you train for something like as a professional athlete for, you know, a decade of your life, you are mentally tough beyond beyond belief and these girls have I mean these girls don't know what that's like they started doing MMA four years ago and they think that it's a hard sport so she's gonna kill them. You think the, also you mentioned the level of athleticism of Olympic athletes a lot of people just don't understand it you're going in even before you get the technique with such a high level that other athletes have not really achieved that level. No absolutely I mean like I said she's been perfecting what she does for years and it takes a huge amount of athleticism for her to do that. And because she's so athletic, she's able to pick up things so much faster. And uh, it's definitely going to work to her advantage in MMA. I think they're getting ready to start. So just a couple of quick questions. What would you like to see judo do to popularize itself? It's all around the world. It's in a huge amount of countries. But in some countries, the U.S. and other countries, is not really considered a major sport. What would you like to see change? You know, I honestly, I would love to see a dojo in every town, on every corner. Um, I think that that's the problem right now, that USA Judo doesn't have the infrastructure. Even if I were to win a gold medal, you have to go to the next town a, a lot of times to, to enroll your child in judo. Whereas if we had a dojo in every town, I think it would be like, you know, Little League baseball. We would, you would be able to go sign your kid up and, and check it out. So I'm hoping that we can build judo from the grassroots up and, and hopefully one day soon, um, you know, maybe when I'm a coach, we'll have 10 Olympic champions. 
that'll be very, very interesting to see. If people want to follow you online, you have a website or yep. Facebook, um, Twitter. I have a website, uh, KaylaHarrison.com, and then my Twitter handle is Judo underscore Kayla, K-A-Y-L-A, and then um, my Facebook fan page is Kayla Harrison, comma, world champion. We'll send you a couple of tweets and Yeah, things definitely. Quick. Tweet me. I like Twitter. It's fun. <laughs> it's my favorite of all the social I, networks. It, you know, I didn't do it until recently, but now it's so easy and so accessible that I love doing it now. Great. We'll see you there, and good luck in London. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.